What is up guys, my name is Critfer or Chris. Welcome back to another video. Hope you like this camera, I'm using a different one today. So I recently took a trip to Oregon and I took my car and obviously the front bumper's off. You guys know why, because you see the video title. But anyways, I, when I was driving down, my light right here um, fell off and I thought I actually lost it. It actually got wedged somewhere in here and I was able to take it out, but obviously I can't mount it with the bumper on, so I had to take that off. At the time I was going down to Oregon, I saw that I was missing it and I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to take my bumper off to replace that. So I bought something. So I stopped at Nameless Performance and I did this off camera a couple of days ago. I, they graciously gave me a license plate delete for free. So right there, this is the CNC cut one. Um, and then I also got a license plate frame for, from them as well that I have on the back, which is super cool. I'm not gonna show you that right now. Uh, I'll throw like a photo up somewhere. Um, but anyways, while I was at Perrin, which is in Oregon, I got the Perrin Hella Horn Bracket. So I bought that plus Hella Horns right here. So I also have one other thing that is coming and there will be an install for that, but I'll just let you know what it is. It is the SSD Performance Light Bar, uh, which will fit right down there and will fit right down in there. Um, and I will be putting on two Hella 500 amber fog lights onto that and that should be good. So if you want to know how to take the bumper off, uh, if you're following this install for the Hella Horns, uh, go watch my video on the Grillcraft grill install right there. Uh, it'll be right up there. And then I'll also have a video uh, at some point of the SSD Performs light bar. So first thing you need to do is come down here to where your stock horn is, right here. Uh, we're gonna find this and we are gonna unbolt this and we're gonna take this clip out and also unbolt this. This is the bolt that we're gonna, or the bolt location that we're gonna be putting our uh, hella horn bracket onto. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Sorry, I'm not gonna be able to time lapse anything. I don't have a tripod with me right now, so we're gonna have to do with uh, what we got right now. I bolted it there, and this is where the other horn is, right over here. Uh, I don't know if that was changed for like the 2018s or anything, but the instructions say go on this side, plus that's really the only way you can go. Um, so now to get the horns installed, uh, so that should be really easy. It should also be said I'm going to make my own wiring harness uh, and did not buy one from Perrin or CB Speed or anyone. I took this off. I've taken it off several times to test fit it. They are supposed to stick out further. If I can just get this to sit right up here on the engine cover. So they are supposed to actually stick out about there. Um, they have these little extenders right there and obviously they're kind of covered, but the reason that um, I'm moving them in is because I want to be able to see them when they're in my grill. And I was doing some test fitting, and because of the location of my lights on my grill, they're actually hidden like right behind them. So you can't really see them, and I really want to see the horns. So they're gonna sit pretty much in here um, with them turned in like this. I don't see a reason why this doesn't work, um, and it should, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get these remounted up, and then, uh, then we just gotta wire them. Okay guys, so it is the next day. I'm trying not to hit my bumper here, and I called it a night, uh, because it was late, and I didn't really wanna wire it. I look hella red. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, so, I got little horns in there. You guys know that? And I've decided, I've watched a bunch of wiring videos now, um, and so pretty much, I'm not gonna do it this way, um, and I don't really remember what I filmed last night, but I did put this here, 
and I found actually the easiest way to wire this is to pull the wire off of this, put it on the positive here, ground this out, which will be really easy, and then um, I don't think we even need to use the relay. Most videos don't use this relay over here, and when I watch, like when I said, like what I said, I, a ton of people don't use this. Come on, focus. A bunch of people don't use this, though I see it in a bunch of wiring diagrams. So I'm gonna try to do it without this, and then if it doesn't work, then we'll figure it out and wire that in. But I think we'll take this, which is technically the positive, for these, so we'll wire this into the positive, we'll ground these out, and that should be it, really, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think we have to do anything else. So I'm gonna get to it, I'm gonna take this off, um, and we do have to use this other horn, which is over here. I hope we don't have to make a, like, extender cable for this. All right, guys, so it has been a while since I feel like I updated you guys. So pretty much what we got going on here is just a rough setting of what I wanna do. This is the stock horn wire right here, not that, that's for my light. And so this one, which is black right in here, and then we made a custom harness, uh, and this is the ground. Pretty much you just plug in your old horn button here, Okay guys, most people don't go into a ton of detail when they make a custom harness for these horns. Um, they either buy a pre-made harness or they don't explain it at all. So I'm just gonna explain the one that I made. Uh, so this is the second one for the other horn. So pretty much I just took this 10 gauge wire, uh, I got two feet of it, put in here. Okay, so uh, I have this little connector here, uh, some female connector that will go right into these, and then I have this little hoop, I don't know what you call this, uh, and that'll just go right in here, which will go in there and connect to the mount. So the other thing is I'm just gonna wrap this with heat shrink. Uh, and then other than that, it's pretty easy. So the best way to figure out which one is, what terminal is positive and negative is by flipping it up like this. And then the left one, when you're looking at it like this, is negative. So we would just put this in here, tight fit, and then we just loop this, what to do with one hand, we'd put this here, and then we take the uh, terminal that we take off of the stock horn, and we put it here, and then we just mount this all up, and it works fine. We don't need this relay that comes with the hella horns. Alrighty guys, so I just got this all position how uh, I need it to. All right guys, so we got the bumper all back together. Uh, I should also say, uh, because at the beginning of this install, holy shit, I washed my car and I was disgusting. <laughs> but when I first started this install, I was missing this light because I went on a uh, road trip to Oregon. It actually fell down here. I couldn't see it until I took all had some of the bumper off, uh, or something like that, um, but I didn't see the mounts and stuff. They were tucked way down in there, um, and I couldn't get them unless the bumper was off, so I did get this in back reinstalled, which is, that's awesome. Um, now we just are waiting for the SSG to come the light bar, which will go right down here, which should be in this upcoming uh, Tuesday. So it's Thursday right now. I'm gonna have this install up by Friday. So that should be coming in a couple of days, probably by next week, uh, the install should be up. Also, a little status update on the Volvo. People come and try to do the 
windshield and the driver's side window and then the rear hatch. There is rust along here that they said I should probably fix before I get replaced. They said they could have, but they really don't recommend it because it'll just cause a bunch of noise in there and they'll just have to redo it eventually. Anyways, uh, the hatch was damaged and uh, right back there. And so I've been working on fixing that, uh, though I've kind of just been playing the waiting game and waiting for um, a door and a hatch with glass to pop up in a junkyard and then I just have to spend the money and get that done and I can do the rust repair on the windshield. Uh, I've tried to fix the door because uh, the same thing happened there. Uh, it was damaged when the car was vandalized so sadly uh, I have to fix that but I, I've tried and I just don't have the tools to do that. I can do the hatch, I've worked on that, it's pretty smooth, I'd rather just go to a junkyard and buy one, but anyways, that's just the little status update, I haven't gotten rid of this, I haven't stopped working on it, I'm just kinda waiting uh, right now, but that is gonna conclude this video, thank you all for watching, be sure to subscribe it down below, leave a like, share this with your friends, and uh, have an awesome day. Peace, guys.